And here we go. And I'm going to show you here. You want a classic example of that. Here is Matt Walsh going against the bearded lady. Someone dies. Okay. We could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's in, it's down in, it's, it's in, in, in. Well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. Like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Because but, it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. But do, what? Okay. Number one. Okay. Who is debating the belief and who is debating the empirical data in this? What do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, well, how, that's do you, how do you define a female? Someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. Someone who's, you know, here's the thing. When you're, when you're female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's, in, it's down in, it's, it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. Interesting. So I'm trying to understand. Your definition is that a woman is someone who is female, you said, right? Correct, gotcha. is okay. a biological female. So what happens if we have maybe someone who is female, identifies as a woman, right? You know, cisgender woman, right? As you explained, as you just explained, but maybe doesn't have the ability to reproduce. Well, maybe doesn't but, have those organs that you're talking about well, that are well, reproductive organs. I, mean, I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. you used the well, word, so what did you mean when you Okay, so essentially what's getting debated here and the reason why we're going to eventually later on in this in this in this inner this show, I guess, later on in this video, you're going to see what happens. But when a person who makes builds their identity on that subject, remember what we said, the, the subjective side of like sort of the blue pill ideologist, this the, the bearded lady, I don't know the name of this person, but the bearded lady here, this guy is his ident his identity is fundamentally attached to that belief set it's fundamentally attached to that ideology i made the case in the past where i've, I've said and if you've watched my uh, my interview with uh, elijah schaefer when i was on uh not you are here but on his slightly offensive show i talked about how um there is a a statement of belief and it was like i think i mentioned it was like a placard or it was like a a, a yard sign that people were putting up in their yards and it said in this house we believe that you know, no one is illegal and, and uh, love is love and uh, trust the science. And it was just this litany, you know, as many as I could fit on a, I don't know, like a 11 by 17 or 12 by 19 placard kind of thing. And I looked at that and I said, you know what, this is actually a, a statement of, this is a statement of belief. And I was like, this is like a religion. This is a, this is a religious belief. So when I'm looking at like people like this and the, like the, the bearded lady here in, uh, in, on Dr. Phil, I'm like, this is, a, a someone who is very deeply invested in that religion and, the, and, and they can't tell you why they are because you can show them data set after data set. It's like, well, you, you know, it's a human, human female is this, this is the, this is the nuts and bolts of it. Two plus two equals four, not two plus two equals five, because I felt like it feeling like five today, but when two plus two equals five, because of your feelings, and you build an entire identity on that feeling or on that factual error, when you build your personality around that, anything that attacks that factual error is an attack on you. And that religion, whenever when you say, well, love is love. Okay, well, I, can, I broke this down in, in my book, Religion. Love is an emotion. I can break it down in nuts and bolts. I can show you like, you know, why, why do I get addicted to that girl? I want my girlfriend back. I'm so in love with her. Well, it's not some magical woo woo, you know, spirituality that makes you do that. It's chemicals, man. I can, I can alter your emotional state on the fly, man. I mean, go, go take a, I can shoot you full of trend and it will definitely uh, alter your emotional state. Okay. <laughs> um, but what I'm saying is that emotions are not magic. They're not why I made that case again on uh, you are here with Ariella is they're, they're not magic, but that magic or the belief that, uh, that it's right and it's wrong, that it's, uh, it's, like I said, it's a uh, factual relativism. That's really what's going on in this conversation here is factual relativity. You said trans women are women. If you don't women know what it means, right? So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood 
is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who- That describes what? People who identify as a woman. A identify as what? As a woman. See, that, that's, this is where the unfalsifiable side of this whole thing comes in. Remember what I said, right? Remember what I said here? Uh, let me see, pull it back up again. What did I say about blue pill ideologists? Here it is. The whole point of the debate is questioning that person's character. Debates uh, uh, occur between people. That's why, by the way, after all of this happened, it was, uh, I think it was, they were trying to boycott, certainly Matt Walsh, but like they're trying to boycott and like get Dr. Phil taken off the air. As a, that's how important it is to so many people's identity and their investment in this belief set that they are willing to cancel Dr. Phil, which has been like he's been on since what the mid 90s. Um, okay, fine, go do whatever you're gonna do, but like uh, that's don't do it because of that, re that reason. Don't cancel him for that. He's just giving you a platform, but even just the platform, even just getting it, getting that message out there, even having the argument between an empiricist and, and I'm not saying Matt is, but that's the art. That's the position he's taking here is you've got the, the believer in, well, it's all relative. It's all, uh, you know, you can be a woman today and a man tomorrow if that's what you want to be. That's all rel you're, what you're doing is you're getting in, into your feels. That's an ideology. The ideology that the bearded lady here believes in is that everything is relative. It's not about facts. It's about who is right. And it's interesting to me because this person and people with the same mindset are still subscribing to what can only be de defined as a religion, as a spiritual belief, because it defies all factual data. It defies gender differences that are empirically proven from fmri scans down to the microbiology and endocrinology of men and women but all of that makes no difference i don't believe that i think i believe in social constructionism and so when you get and by the way this debate right here that's going on between matt walsh and the bearded lady is exactly the same dynamic that was going on between fresh and fit and akash and andrew schultz exactly the same dynamic it's just a different topic different context that's all it is what's the ideology and when you see people do the breakdown of whatever it is you know fresh and fit are doing whatever i'm doing when people get really upset with me it's an emotional response because they don't have an answer to the data and the valid cogent arguments that i'm making they have no counter argument to it so what do we do we reach the point of diminishing returns and the point of diminishing returns is then cancel him cancel dr phil cancel matt walsh that's the point of diminishing returns in this case usually it's who hurt you in in like lesser to a lesser degree but that's really the the debate that's happening between these two right now what is that was to each their own okay. each woman each man each person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity and define it differently and so I'm trans women are women too okay and you want to you, hold on, hold on. Again, you want to reduce you, you listen, won't listen. even tell me you what the word reduce, means though so you that's want to the reduce problem. women you want to reduce men down to maybe just their genetics our genitals no. our chromosomes right that's what you're what saying you want to do is that's what, what you what you day. want to do is okay so everybody yay trans women are women right until they get onto the <laughs> until a uh, zuby comes in and sets the uh, world's record for deadlifting in women's deadlifting competitions, right? He's the, as far as I know, he's still the, uh, the world's record holder. Until that belief, that false identity that you have smashes headlong into empirical reality, that's not best practices anymore. And in some cases that might get you killed, particularly if we're gonna lower standards for women in say combat roles in the military. That's going to, there are consequences, real world consequences that might not affect the person who's just, oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to be a woman today kind of thing. If, if, there's, if it's a life or death situation, whether that person acknowledges reality according to what their failed memes in their heads are, or I die as a result of your failed memes, you, you're probably going to rationalize it away and say, oh, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Why is it that women, uh, men in women's sports, biological men in women's sports consistently outperform them. That's the reality. And at least we don't have to worry too much about life or death in sports, hopefully. <laughs> but we certainly do when it comes to military actions. We certainly do when it comes to violent uh, 
violent crime on the streets. We certainly do when the floodwaters start rising in Mississippi because, you know, the, you know, the hurricane came, then men have to be men and women have to be women. Then we're all, then we're all happy with traditional gender roles. But for right now, you know, what is it last year? I believe it was the APA American psychology association, psychologist association declares traditional masculinity is a, is a, is a, what a social disease, not social, is a, a, a personal personality disorder. That's why this is important. When the ideologist, when that ideology sets the standard for psychology that all the psychologists are supposed to, like, I think it was in 2019, they, they put out an advisory for all of the APA certified psychologists. So here's how we're going to deal with men and going forward. That, so that's, that ideology prevents understanding actual, factual, empirical data. That's that's why this the conversation is important. Now, honestly, if you're gonna if you want to expand the red pill beyond intersexual dynamics, really what it is is it's empiricism versus emotionalism. It's data and and rationalism. It's feel it's it's reels before feels or feels before reels. That's the basic way I can I can put it. And when we when we standardize the way we're going to organize society according to feels before reels, there are some real world consequences as a result of that. And here we have this conversation between a believer and empiricist, arguably empiricist. He's, he's actually like putting these people on the spot saying, well, here's the data. What do you have to say about the data? You know what the response is? Who hurt you? When uh, buzzed, buzzed, buzzwords, right? Buzz terms, I guess, you know, Oh, um, trans women are women, right? No, they aren't. Because that's just you redefining subjectively what you think your truth ought to be. My truth versus the truth. 